Hi Chris, Matthew, just have my cup of coffee a minute. <laughs> yeah. Just wait for a couple of people to come. I'm just, just coming on now live, so... Um, right. Uh, Chris, Chris Simpson just joined. Hi Jason, hope you're doing okay. <laughs> Hello Andrew. Oh, another Andrew, Andrew Trigdon from the West. Hi mate. Mark Pollard. Don't forget Mark, you promised to come on here soon. <laughs> Another Andrew, George, oh Stephen, hi Ed, Steve, alright, we'll have to go out one day as you know, we'll have to, as soon as the lockdown's over. Right, just give it a minute. <clears throat> Nothing controversial now, Jason. <laughs> you know what you like. Kelvin, I like Kelvin right up. It's okay, I've, um, if you see me glancing up, it's because um, I've got a big screen in front of me as well. So, uh, um, so I've got the computer as well as the iPad going. Uh, I am Michael, uh, Michael from Thailand, a uh, German guy. Uh, used to be an international, he's retired over Thailand now and he's, uh, he's having a great time. He married a Thai lady and, uh, and as I say, he's fishing most days now. Well, I think... Uh, I don't know if the lockdown is still, um, you know, still going in Thailand, but uh, as I say, unfortunately, it's uh, it's everywhere, isn't it? This um, lockdown at the moment. Uh, now, <clears throat> as I say, guys, uh, right, I'm going to do this today. Um, um, I'm going to guess on today, so I thought I'll come on. Um, as you all know, um, all right, Steve. I'll ask <laughs> you. Just ask a question, then I'll. Uh, I'll come back to that after if I can. So anyway, so basically, uh, we're still in lockdown in Wales, which is a shame, really, because, uh, you know, a lot of us really were itching to get out, even if it's just a wetter line. Uh, I know you've been talking to quite a few of the lads, and they were saying they're not going to go until a match, you know, comes up. And uh, I can understand that, because being a match angler, pleasure fishing doesn't hold the same... Uh, you know, excitement, I suppose. But um, anyway, uh, Rich Phillips, all right. Um, as I say, get a few more on. Okay, right. I um, I hope you're all okay. Um, one good news I've got to just mention is uh, Kevin Abigail uh, from the West Country. Uh, I know um, Kevin well, fished against him on the Bristol and spilled down on the, the West Country, the Super Leagues, and um, as you all know, he, he took a turn for the worst with this coronavirus, and he ended up, um, you know, on a ventilator. Uh, very concerning at one stage, and then, um, anyway, thank God, he, he managed to pull through. So, uh, you know, um, and all the guys have been um, appreciating, um, you know, the updates from his wife, Linda. She'd been, you know, keeping us well informed. Uh, he's out of hospital today. He's gone home, uh, I think, about this time, I think. 
and um, well, I, I'm sure we all wish him well. Uh, oh, hi, Trevor. Trevor Pack. <clears throat> right, so anyway, um, basically, as I said, we're all still in this lockdown in Wales, where I know in England, um, you know, you, you, most of you are perhaps going out to weather line. It would be nice if a couple of you put a couple of pictures up on the post so we can see where we're, uh, you know, what's happening. Because uh, we're, we're a bit stabbed. In fact, um, on my uh, gold medal ground baits uh, Facebook page, a couple of lads have been out and they've left some pictures. So, you know, that's really good. Really good on them. Right, as I say, because we're still on this lockdown, uh, I haven't got much to do except prep and uh, keep an eye on this, um, you know, this Facebook page, which is growing quite big now. Uh, I think it's uh, 21,350. I think we've had 40 new members today, so, uh, you know, it's all looking good. Um, obviously, this is just a vehicle to be able to uh, express people's opinion on things, sell a few items, you know, and uh, just enjoy it. Um, as I say, uh, funny enough, technology's come a long way, and um, I wrestled, <laughs> um, talking to Tommy Pickering earlier, and it's marvellous, you know, we were saying that this technology wasn't around, obviously, in, in our days. And um, it's, um, you know, it's a fantastic thing because we can all communicate, uh, you know, we can air our views. Um, I feel sorry for the uh, Anglin papers, you know, the Anglin Times, the Anglin's Mail. I remember every week we used to um, wait uh, for the Thursday, you know, day and uh, when it, it came out and we'd all rushed on the shops. But now these days uh, we can actually, um, you know, get news as it happens, so to speak. Um, and I knew this many, many years ago because uh, I think I was one of the first um, people to actually have a, a, a fishing page on the internet called Anglin News or anglin-news.co.uk. Um, it's still going now, but obviously I don't use it so much now because Facebook is uh, is the in thing, if you like, as far as the um, social media uh, is concerned and the internet. So, um, yeah. Anyway, as I said, because uh, we've been on this lockdown now for whew, eight weeks for us, um, and it's, um, it's going to be stir crazy to be honest, not not be able to get out, you know. Um, but it is frightening because I can understand the guys who uh, have got, um, you know, health problems, issues, and yeah, you know, stay at home because um, you know each day there's new um, information coming about. Uh, for example. Um, it's something to do with the immune system now, and if you, the stronger immune system, the the better chance of survival and not getting you know particularly ill. Um, and also, uh, there's something to do with the T cells in the blood, you know, the white corpuscles and that. So anyway, keep an eye on that. I think I start losing a bit of weight. Started. <laughs> I sound like Colin Penny now. <laughs> anyway, uh, as I said. Um, uh, I've been in touch with a few uh, few lads this week, um, and um, it was interesting because uh, this poll that we just recently put up regarding uh, the modern day um, you know favourite angler, and it's surprising. I can see the the way at the times it's more commercial anglers now, obviously, and um, you know their ship. I'm quite surprising. Gone you know way ahead on the polls uh, in front of Bob, you know. And Bob is one of our, you know, all-time favourites. Um, oh, hi, Ron. <laughs> Ron Gibbs just joined. And uh, Bob, hi, Bob. Oh, Mark, um, my uh, relation, I'm sure. Paul, Alan, Shane, welcome, mates. Anyway, so, yeah, so as I said, um, as far as the uh, this lockdown and, and, you know, being a bit stir-crazy and not being able to go, uh, um, I uh, I've been trying to get a few more you know, anglers to come and join us on, um, you know, as a guest speaker to give their views and have a little chit chat, which uh, is going really good because we've had a lot of um, guys. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Paul Johnson. Um, <laughs> looking dapper. Thanks, Mark. Oh, Speedy, how you, mate? <laughs> hope, you're, hope you're well. Oh, Russell, if you're on somewhere like Stellboy Beauty and you're struggling to catch, do you have a reliable system you go through to get bites? Yeah. Cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you get your coffee. How many times you done that? All of a sudden you get a bite. Yeah, anyway, that's a good. Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> and what's this? Uh, well, I'll come on to that after 
Russell about spreading shots and depths and all that, you know, that's uh, that, that's another vlog on its own really. But this is more of an update to see how the boys are all doing on the um you know, on, on the on the Facebook page and um you know, as I said it's it's great. Everyone's interactive and um you know it's uh, it's great to get some feedback. Okay, uh yeah, so as I said I've been I mean, you know, sort of getting in touch with some old friends, asking some old favours um, about, you know, coming on as a guest to have a little chat. As I said, uh, Bob started all, thankfully, you know, because uh, when I chatted to him, he, uh, you know, he was the first one on you. And um, thanks, Bob. <laughs> uh, right, I, I, uh, I have a message off Dez Ship. Now, because he's top of the pole, um, I was trying to get him on here and... Um, he said he'd have to wear a white hat. Now, I don't know if he's referring to Bob about that, but I'm sure he is. But hopefully we'll get him on uh, soon and, you know, he can give us a, he can give us a rundown, uh, especially on his um, couple of new products he brought up with Preston, which is quite interesting. Um, so, yeah, now I've got a, a, quite a few lined up, um, as I say, next week. So, you know, if you're around and about, um, not much to do, then, you know, come over. Um, uh, Michael Budweiser, he's uh, been having a chat with him, he's, um, he's up for it, he's going to come on, uh, you know, uh, gives a little bit of um, a rundown on his uh, methods, I suppose, you know, I uh, know he does well in Ireland. No, oh yeah, Tommy Prickland, so he's talked to Tommy and it's funny, you know, we haven't spoken for phew, 20 odd years and it's like, like we're all friends and catching up, you know. Uh, he's agreed to come on your Wednesday, so there you are, uh, make a date uh, Wednesday. Um, yeah, two o'clock, and then do a rerun then later in the evening for the guys who miss it in the day. Uh, but Tommy's doing well. He was, uh, you know, and uh, funny enough, we were, we was reminiscing about old days, um, you know, being world champions, etc. And um, but you know, he went on and achieved some great stuff after, you know, um, as well as uh, even Dennis, of course, within that embassy pairs. Uh, there's a huge payout in the day. Um, he actually uh, done well with the feeder uh, fishing and also, um, well, commercials. And uh, hopefully Wednesday, you know, when he comes on, uh, anybody who wants to ask him some questions, then, you know, that'd be great. Uh, who else has joined us? Uh, we got Mark, David, right. Uh, ah, hiya, Ray. Ray Hopper. Uh, Ian. Hi, Ian. Sorry, sorry, greeting. Yep, nice to see you all. Anyway, so anyway, so that's that's the uh, uh, next week. Um, I've also um, on Wednesday I got Howard. Um, uh, let's have a look. Let's get my dates right. Yeah, Howard's on Thursday, so I got Howard K um, from from the Midlands. Uh, I got Timothy Ford from the West. Now he's coming. He's coming up on um, on Tuesday. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put a list after uh, on who's coming. On, on what days okay so you all know uh, yeah so Timoth Timothy Ford he's um, a young guy who's done extremely well he, he went through a little bit of uh, illness and he's come through it and uh, um, you know as I say he does very very well and he writes a regular uh, blog uh, for people who actually follow him so uh, yeah um, I spoke to Nick Speed uh, Nick said he's going to come on now because uh, I want to try and get more commercial anglers on here as well um, uh, and Nick Speed said he would come on I'm still waiting for the date of him um, Andy Kinder, no, Andy's going to come on. He's going to come on, uh, looks like Friday. So uh, that'll be good. So, you know, we can all obviously get some questions ready for these guys, you know, when they come on. Um, right, now let's have a look. So I'm going to uh, just give a big shout out uh, for the guys who, uh, I am Matt, uh, Matt Ringwater, going to give a shout out for the guys who've already con contributed. And um, just, uh, you know, for some people, uh, technology uh, is a bit um, it's a bit hard to follow sometimes. Now, I'm fortunate that I was, uh, I was as I said, one of the first um, people on the internet back in 1997, it was. Uh, I um, set up a web page called Angler News. And um, I, I remember going around the shops and the fisheries saying, uh, you know, you need a website for the future. No, they used to say. No, 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 you, you know, it's a, it's a fad. It'll all, you know, it'll all blow over. <laughs> yeah, there you are. So it just goes to show you, doesn't it? You know, um, who knows the future? And uh, the internet, as I said, is a fantastic thing. Um, so, as I said, because of the technology, some find it easy to, to get onto the, uh, 
you know the um, website and um, and talk and um, you know some some are a bit shy some are great you know um, and as I say a big shout out obviously to uh, Bob Nutt because Bob was the first he's just a natural you know he uh, he basically uh, you know he, 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 his presentation is brilliant in front of the camera, which I was as good as him, to be honest, but uh, as I say. Uh, now, Sean Ashby, you know, uh, world champion, um, uh, and, and obviously bronze medalist as well, individually, as well as all the, the, the other team uh, events. Now, Sean, uh, thanks, Sean. He, um, you've done well. Uh, I know it was a little bit daunting for you, and you, you, you know, I, you don't normally do these sort of things, but... Um, Again, I'd like to thank you for that. Um, and it was very interesting, you know, some of the stuff you're coming up with. And, uh, you know, it's great to, you know, to listen to these guys, you know, where they come from, when they first started, um, and, you know, and, how, and how, how they developed and, and become world champions or whatever they achieved. So, you know, it's fantastic. Uh, hiya, Barry. Barry Millward. Neil. Hiya, Neil. Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Mark. Paul, Paul Newell. I tried to get Paul on you, but uh, we'll see. I'm still working on that. Great anger from the Midlands, Paul. And it's very interesting that uh, Paul was telling us that about um, he could have, uh, well, he, you know, he, he was in the uh, team for the 1981, he was in the squad anyway for 1981 World Championships. And um, anyway, he, he uh, well, I'm sure one day if we get him on here, he'll tell you the full story. Um, oh, Liam Dale just, uh, and I don't know if you all remember Liam, but Liam is the guy who, uh, from Thailand, who bought the, uh, the rights to the Clean River videos. He's, um, uh, yeah, thanks to him, he, he put a lot of videos up and, um, you know, I think they run their course. I think he must have put about 100 odd videos up, I'm sure. Um, they are still available to watch if you go to his, um, uh, uh, YouTube channels or, or maybe his Facebook page I think um, anyway so uh, I, he just sent me a message asked if they would be interested in a Liam Dale question and answers so there you are guys let me know I'm sure there's a few guys that like to uh, you know you know ask uh, Liam about the you know his um, fishing his you know and how he directed the films and how he got Bob, uh, Bob to do um uh, a series on, I think, uh, the Discovery Channel. So yeah, so yeah, you know, leave your comments on that, and let's um, let's see how we go with that one. Um, hi, Barry. <laughs> Ron Clark just joined. Ant Edson and Raymond Pack joined. Great. Um, I says Paul. I saw the video of the international friend we had in Scotland on the Monklands Canal. That was a blast from the past. Yeah, great old memories. I didn't fish that. That was the uh, that was after. Um, uh, I think it was, you know, at, at, at the last stage, um, I think I was doing other things at the time. So, uh, yeah, that was a good blast from the past. Yeah. Anyway, as I said, so, um, yeah, so, you know, as I said, Sean done well. Fair do. So I'm hoping he's going to come on again. He said he'd me. Now, Dean Barlow. Now, Dean, he, oh, well, well uh, he's a great guy. And thanks, Dean, you know, uh, for coming on. Because, Dean, I tell you what, uh, uh, I know you had a little bit of issues with it, with your phone, but you, you did manage to get on in the end. I know it's frustrating. I seen you shaking your head at the beginning, thinking, oh, what if I let myself involved? But you done okay, mate, honestly. Uh, I'd like to get you on again as well, you know, especially now that you do it. Um, anyway, uh, oh, Leon keeps on messaging me. I wish you... <laughs> All right, Leon, I'll talk to you later, mate. Um, Ian Swanson, I haven't seen very well. James Carter. Yeah, so, as I said... Um, Dean managed to uh, eventually uh, sort himself out, and um, uh, it was a bit brief, it was only 40 minutes. I'm hoping to get him on again, and he can tell us more about uh, his exploits with his, uh, with his old man, Frank, you know, the legend, because uh, many of us used to follow Frank, didn't we, years ago, um, waiting for the Younger's Mail, and, uh, you know, um, so, and of course, he, he, uh, he was uh, synonymous in, in giving people nicknames, wasn't he, you know? Um, uh, and it was great because uh, <laughs> they still stick to even even to this day a lot of these nicknames. Um, yeah, funny enough, it's starting to Billy not as well this week. I was hoping to get Billy on you. Uh, he's going to have a little think about it. Uh, old Billy goes back a long time. Of course, he got lots of uh, records. He's kept all his uh, clippings of all the, the papers, uh, fishing papers over the years, which is interesting. Uh, something I wish I'd done now, but anyway. Um, 
Now, Jamie Robbins, thanks, Jamie, for coming on. Now, Jamie uh, was quite interesting because um, I thought he was going to come on, plug in all his cadence, tackle and that, but he didn't. He was actually went straight into techniques and methods and... Uh, you know, he's a real nice guy, as I said, uh, you know, and J Jamie and I do go back to when we used to fish together uh, at Evesham and um, and then uh, uh, the mass exodus to the River Wye, of course, so all the Midland boys. Um, uh, I like to think I might have had a little hand in that because I remember when we used to fish the Winter Leagues, the South Wales Winter League days, and um, there weren't that many, um, you know, fishing uh, in the team events then and uh, I, I remember saying to Dave Harrell, I said, Dave, you know, you want to come down, it's fantastic fishing and uh, he did and he fell in love with the place and then he uh, he promoted it and that's how it became quite big and quite famous, um, you know, and the why, uh, of course the why was never as good as that really, uh, um, I remember going back years ago and five pounded with a match, you know, uh, I remember one day it was frozen right over the river. You know, so, uh, yeah, the River Wye at Belmont we're talking about, of course. But as I say, it um, it became the final for the River Fest for a few number of years. And, it, and I think you know, some of the fantastic, uh, you know, fishermen on there. I know it's a bit peggy, you know, some uh, one half wouldn't fish, the other half would. But, uh, you know, it's like anything in match fishing. You take your luck, you take your chance in the draw, don't you? Uh, Peter Bradshaw, hi, mate. Roy Glover, hi, Roy. Barry Gibbs, hi, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, as I said, that was basically um, with uh, Jamie. Um, he, as I said, he, I'm hoping he's going to come on again because Jamie, uh, you know, very knowledgeable, very good. Um, uh, and in fact, um, I use his rods, Cadence rods, and uh, I used to have the Dren and, uh, you know, Acrylites, and, um, uh, and I used to have the uh, Normark as well, um, uh, which reminds me of um, Jeff Salisbury, um, as I said, rest in peace. Uh, Jeff goes there, he passed away, didn't he, this week? Uh, great angler from years gone past. I remember fishing with him against um, against him on the uh, Avon at um, Evesham. Quite a lot. And Twyford. I think they used to run the Normark League. Him and Martin folks, who unfortunately passed away as well. Uh, nice to see John Cochrane. Uh, he's still alive, though. He's still kicking. Um, Steve Jackson. I haven't seen Steve for years, but apparently he's commercial fishing now. So, um, you know... Um, yeah, it'd be nice to hear from them if I could. Uh, oh, you know, from uh, Stevie Jack. Jacko, we used to call him. Yeah. So that was that. Then uh, <clears throat> a big thank you to Steve Mayer. Now, Steve Mayer, Mayer. Now, many people may not know Steve, perhaps. I don't know. Um, but Steve is is renowned for um, for catching big weights of barbel, you know, 130-odd uh, pound in a match. Um, you know, he's done fantastically well coming to the River Wye. You know, he's a new, new lad to the River Wye. And... Uh, He's used his techniques, um, you know, obviously, and he's doing very well, you know. In fact, he was, I was next to him on a match there um, last year and the water came up in flood and he was lucky enough, he had a big bush in front of him and uh, um, and he he went for the bleak and had 46 pounds, which is a, you know, fantastic weight, really. Mind you, they're all big kippers. I, was, <laughs> I went to have a look at them after, you know, and uh, yeah. To him. And that's why I, I invited Steve on you yeah, because um, you know, he's a well-known angler, got uh, um, lots of ideas, lots of techniques, which I was hoping he was going to pass on, but we didn't quite get round to it. So you never know. If I get Steve back on you again, then uh, you know perhaps he can go through a bit more detail. Another lad I'm going to uh, big shout thanks to is um, Gary Etheridge. Now I don't know if you guys know Gary, but uh, uh, from the West Country, and he's. Um, <laughs> they call him Fish Life, <laughs> his nickname, uh, basically because he, he can catch fish out of swims where you wouldn't think possible. And um, he's got a fantastic record, um, you know, uh, as all the West Country lads will tell you, you know, from the Thames to the the, uh, the Avon, you know, the Bristol Avon. And uh, as I said, he's come on. And um, uh, the first time he, he came on twice, in fact, the first time he came on, he was a bit sort of shy, he didn't last long, but the second time I couldn't get him off yet, he was on here only two hours, so uh, fair news, Gary, I hope, you know, maybe come back on here again, and um, as I say, by the way, um, all these uh, I put on YouTube, so if you ever want to catch up on any of them, you can pop over to my channel, and uh, you know, I put them on there for prosperity, so people can go back and watch them any time. Um, now, another West Country, or I suppose uh, from the same area, is Richard Trade. Now, uh, Richard, uh, thanks again, Richie, for uh, coming on. Now, Richie uh, is obviously with the Colmac um, company, 
and um, he was showing a couple of um, the lines and the hooks and the poles there, so whip. So that was very interesting. And as I say, another uh, top angler who's always um, in the frame. So, you know, again, thanks to uh, thanks to Richie and hope you come back again soon. Now, the, the most popular one at the moment is uh, Colin Perry. Now, Colin uh, is a character I, I, I never really knew Colin, but I knew him, um, uh, well, I bumped into Colin fishing the River Thames Festival a couple of years ago. Uh, he was in my section and uh, I think I was leading a section um, up until we got up to Colin and he'd, uh, he'd had, he snagged a couple of bream and he, um, I think he was second in a section. Uh, he, I think he won it on default because the, the guy on the NPEG actually won that section that day. But uh, anyway, I got uh, to know Colin and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely uh, amazed of his um, history, you know, he's a true legend, you know, when you look back at all the matches he's won, you know, winning the, the Evesham uh, uh, Festival, I think, uh, three times, uh, uh, two, two John Smiths, or the equivalent, and the other was the uh, Witch Haven, so, you know, absolutely fantastic. Um, and anyway, <laughs> his exploits and his stories, uh, I could listen to forever, and, uh, you know, a lot of guys have said the same, you know, they said, oh, great, you know, can we get Colin on back again? So he's been on here three times now, so if I get him on again, it'd be great. Uh, as I say, thanks, Colin, and some of the, some of the, uh, I, I found it quite interesting as well about the methods he was saying about the dragon waggler, you know, which is a method, uh, you know, and, and uh, underused if you like, and it's a great, great method. Uh, but they was talking about the the swirls and the bowls in the water, and you know, and the, the way the top of the the surface runs quicker than the bottom, and you know, that's the, maybe a lot of anglers don't know. I mean, you know, um, obviously it's things that you, that you learn over the years, and uh, that's fantastic. So I'm hoping, you know, um, as I said, he, on the last uh, vlog, he gave his rundown of the last, um, uh, I think. Ten matches, um, you know, like he was second in the Scottish National, you know, and he's, you know, he's winning matches, um, every, uh, yeah, everywhere. Uh, hello, Mike Martin. You're live on uh, Facebook. You're live on Facebook, Mike Martin. Yeah, I'll speak to you later. Yeah, go with it. Go to. Match fish in Facebook, and you'll see me on there. Ask me a question. <laughs> All right, speak later, mate. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just to show you we're live, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Mike Maddy is uh, one of the club members. Uh, you know, as a travel with him a year or two ago. Um. So yeah. So thanks, Colin. Another one uh, was Dave Roberts. Now Dave uh, from uh, Hereford, great angler. He's done exceptionally well. Um, you know, he's come from, uh, I wouldn't say he come from nowhere, because obviously it takes years to, to be able to, to become, you know, top of your sport. And uh, uh, I remember Dave a couple of years ago, you didn't hear of him, and all of a sudden he's, and uh, now he's, um, he's a force to be reckoned, you know. Um, he was in my section last year on one of the matches, I did beat him, but <laughs> and when I qualified, when I won the match, um, you know, uh, for the Riverfest uh, to qualify, he was second. So, he's a, but he's a great angler, and I tell you what, very knowledgeable. He knows the uh, the why, like the back of his hand. Um, he runs his own vlog, and he um, he runs a YouTube channel as well. And um, you know, I try to give him a um, you know a help in that, a, sort of a kickstart. And he did say, you know, thanks to me, um, you know that. that Maybe one of the reasons he, 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 you know, he sort of done it. He does coaching as well, so uh, anyway, I used to do a bit of coaching on the way, and now he's done it, so anyway, he's the man to get in touch with. And I hope maybe Dave will come back on you one day as well. Um, another, another one I got a, a, is a legend in my eyes, and that is Tony Davis. Hiya, Tony, if you're watching, thanks for coming on. That was fantastic, because I know um, uh, technical stuff is not your forte, and uh, you did manage to... Uh, get on eventually and you did you know as I said give us a little bit of a talk and um, you know and it's fantastic hearing about the old names of course you, you were rattling names like Clive and Ken um, which people maybe of the younger generation wouldn't remember you know Ken Giles, Clive Smith and, and those those sort of guys that you're talking about but um, that was fantastic Tony and I hope, I hope you're well and um, you know um, I know you said you would come on here again but uh, anyway that was great but thanks for that and uh, as I say, any of you guys ever want to see it, just go back and, um, and check him out. 
Um, of course, another one who I thought done exceptionally well, and that was uh, Speedy, now the current um, Riverfest champion. Now, I've known uh, Ian, um, Ian uh, for a long time, Ian Ward, Ian Keith Ward, and uh, Ian um, now he actually brought up something that I didn't, that I forgot completely, because he was talking about uh, when we used to fish Twyford, and when he'd come uh, in a van with uh, uh, Brian Tutton, um, you know, or Tutton, that's right, they used to come in a van, and uh, I can remember them days, and I didn't realise he was part of that uh, that group, you know. So fair dues to him, and he's come on a long way talking about people who've who've uh, risen up the ranks, you know. He's um, an average sort of match angler, and then, and then all of a sudden, the last couple of years, come great, you know. He's won, won the River Fest. They met Dave Arrow, won the um, I think they did win the pairs, or they were second, you know. It was great. So it's, you know, nice to see him, uh, as he said, and he's always available if you ever want to ask questions. So you know, great. Thanks, Speedy. That was fantastic. Another one, um, Ricky Rickards. Now, R uh, Ricky got his own channel, and uh, um, I don't normally allow other people, um, you know, videos and channel. Well, it depends w what the content is, but um, uh, I've allowed him to come on, and, and thankfully, he, he, you know, he's reciprocated by coming on and doing a live one for me. Again, he's the one that might come on again, so, you know. As I said, uh, there's quite a few... Um, guys who basically uh, said they would come on so let's hope that um, uh, if any guys got any suggestions as well of anyone who, who would uh, who would want to come on you know I could I could see if I could persuade them <laughs> gentle persuasion and um, I said I did ask Dave Harrell but unfortunately he's too busy but um, you know everyone else has been positive you know and uh, you know as I said there's quite a few more in the pipeline ready to come on all right, so look, uh, what's this? Uh, Guy Athage, when I see him, draw the heart, sings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right, Gary Athage. Um, oh, all the London Postal Match Group, oh, they love Collins, Tales, that's great. That's from uh, Fred, Fred Davis, hi Fred. Mark Derry joined us, Nigel Baker, Robert Marsh, uh, Paul Sanderson. Guy Lambert, well done. Listen, um, if there's any questions, then fire away. Uh, what I'd like to say, though, is that, um, you know, if there's any improvements um, on, you know, that I can do on this page to get people, you know, obviously come in on a regular basis, then uh, that would be great. Um, you know, are you Nigel, Nigel Baker, Robert Marsh, are you, they're all waving. Um, I was hoping uh, I was probably do a little chat about my uh, some tactic and you know tactics and that, but I think I'll probably leave that for uh, for another session because um, you know there's lots of guys who've got different ways of fishing, different methods, different techniques, and uh, I'm sure they would all be um, uh, more than happy to to pass it, their information on. You know, um, so there you are. Uh, say I. I won't stay on here that much longer, uh, to be honest, because uh, we got a, you know we all got a few things to do. Um, but again, you know, please leave all your questions and or anything uh, you you'd like to improve the uh, the channel. That'd be fantastic. Um, as I say, come back again, uh, and I will be doing as I say. Um, uh, I, I tell you what I want to talk about, which um, you know it's got me thinking actually when I listened to a couple of the other lads about techniques and methods. Well, as you all probably know, uh, the Waggler was my forte, and uh, you know most of my fishing. You know, I, I'd rather fish the Waggler than anything else. Um, you know, winning the World Championships, you know, probably the first one to use uh, standard Waggler tactics. Um, but um, I got some great techniques and methods that I like to perhaps pass on to you as well. So uh, what I'll do, I'll make that a different blog. In fact, I, I I've been going through uh, my uh, Waggler sets now. I got. Just get them cleaned up. I kind of paid a couple of tips to them. I know I don't know why we carry all these. Like you know, to be honest, with you, I <laughs> I got bloody loads of them. You know, as you see, most of them are crystals. Um, I got a few uh, a few others here as well, which I'm just going through now. That was broken. <laughs> Needs to repair that one and that one. I don't. Uh, these are big long wagglers. Ty Wagner, I'd like to go through that one day with you. That's a, fa a fantastic little method. I know it looks like a Mickey Mouse blow, but I'll tell you what, it works, works well. Um, yeah, just going through a couple of trenchants as well, yeah. Um, this is for the rivers, of course, you know, classified as wagglers. You know, big balsa ones, look, you know. 
that's a drag in the old well on the bottom. Um, little canals, I've got canals. Little canal wagglers, you know, which you know use on the river as well. You know, little billy making ones. <laughs> yeah, so um let's see, it's something that um that you know I'm gonna make a, a separate blog on. And uh, hopefully you can uh, maybe come back and, and uh, you know listen to, you know uh, teach you a couple of little tricks. This is quite interesting, the new way of putting wagons online. Yeah. All you do is simply put the uh couple of rubbers on and just put in the rubber and it's easy attachment to get rid of. Yeah, good. Anyway, but um, as I say, uh, techniques and methods are always changing and they're always uh, improving. Um, we're always learning, even myself, even though, uh, well, I'm 70 next birthday, been fishing since I was 12. Blimey. It's a long time now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my girl, I'm my tell you that, Robert Barsh. Okay, right. I'll leave that at that then, boys, and um, as I say, uh, please leave your comments. Uh, and as I say, um, I'll leave a list of who's coming on next week. Um, uh, these are for definite at the moment. Uh, Tim, Tim Ford, he's coming on Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock. Uh, Tommy Pickering's coming on at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we'll do a rerun then in the evening. So any questions, uh, you know, obviously... Um, you know, get them ready for him. <laughs> um, Howard K. Well, Howard um, from the Midlands. Um, he's got his own shop there now, which is fantastic, and he's doing really well. I spoke to him this morning. He's doing a, a maggot run, so he'll be back um, uh, uh, later today, I think. But uh, I've got him uh, penciled in for Thursday. Okay, same time, two o'clock. And then Andy Finley, um, obviously uh, one of the commercial lads. I'd be interested in what he had to say. And he's, he's on Friday, okay, and um, I'm still waiting for a couple more to come back. So, um, again, perhaps uh, I'll pencil somebody in for Monday. Um, as I said, we've got a couple more to come yet, so uh, that would be uh, quite interesting. Okay, uh, who's that, Fred? Brill, Clyde, great channel, great variety. Yes, do a session on River Wagner work, that would be great, okay. Uh, Barry, you know all these blogs have been great. Clive, thanks for organising them and thanks to all the contribution. Looking forward to more. Great. Well, I'm hoping, you know, we're, we're a, a bit different than everybody else. Um, and I hope that, uh, you know, it keeps you all tuned and all, um, you know, coming back. Uh, because, uh, you know, some of the guys um, obviously have always got questions to ask. You know, I can't answer all of them. In fact, uh, I leave it to other, other anglers to to um you know to answer the questions and um you know as i say everyone got different ideas and different methods I, uh, w when i do my methods i mean you i don't know how many of you actually follow me on my uh youtube uh, vlogs but um i take my little uh, phone or my little camera with me and i film away as it's happening and uh you know warts and all <laughs> so i don't um you know i might cut out the you know something that's not relevant but uh, most of the times you see it as it is and uh, and I hope that um, you know it's, it looks authentic uh, because um, I want to tell you a story in fact uh, many years ago when I first started making videos I never forget um, John Wilson uh, rest in peace John Wilson but um, I was down at Hampshire Raven doing a um, feature with um, one of the uh, Anglian uh, press just catching a couple of chub I was on the on the Hampshire Avenue. Anyway, I caught a couple and um anyway, who should be there with the television crew was John Wilson, further down. <laughs> I I shouldn't say this but I can now no he's obviously not with us, but uh he hadn't caught a fish. <laughs> and um anyway, he uh, the film the, the camera crew come up and said, Can we borrow one of your chub? I said, Why? So well they haven't caught any do you know and so Obviously, what they did, they hooked it, put it back in the water, and looked as though John Wilson just caught a five pound chub. <laughs> so, don't always believe what you see on the cameras, lads. <laughs> I know I'm a bit controversial sometimes, but anyway. Um, an another time, in fact, uh, don't, when I don't want the egg Bristol, um, I think uh, Dick Clegg was there at the time, and uh, um, Gazza, the footballer, I don't know if you all remember him. Um, 
So anyway, so the same thing. Now we've done a little. And that's on YouTube. You can see that little bit where me and Gaza were joking around with each other. But that was a, a time as well where uh, I caught a nice slab of bream, and um, anyway we put it on uh, Gaza's hook. Um, it was a funny thing because they put it on his hook and they they put it back in the water for it to swim away. It wouldn't swim away, so they got the lad in there trying to get the bloody big slab to swim away. So it looked as though he, he would catch it like all for the camera. <laughs> so as I said, don't always believe what you see on the camera, boys. <laughs> uh, hiya, Fred. Oh, you watched the video. Good. Okay. Hiya, Mike. Keep them coming. Yeah, okay. Uh, as I say, um, you know, I don't want to be too controversial because uh, I got my own thoughts and it's got me into lots of trouble. You know, I was just having a chat with um, Billy Knott this week and, uh, you know, he, if anyone don't know Billy, well, he goes back way back and uh, he's always... Um, He's always uh, tells the truth as he sees it, and uh, you know. And he was saying that the um, uh, the River Fest, oh sorry, the River, uh, the Anglian Trust are not quite uh, uh, upfront with everyone like as they should be, you know. Um, uh, which does r raise questions. Uh, by the way, I I did um, send a message to the CEO of Anglian Trust, asking him, invite him to come onto this channel. Uh, I haven't heard anything of him since, um, but I have noticed that he has made a couple of other statements. And uh, I mean, look, don't get me wrong, I think they're doing a great job. They, they're getting us back out fishing, possibly. You know, whether we'd still, we could have gone fishing anyway, you know. But uh, I like to think that maybe they, they, they've helped, you know, by uh, contacting the government, you know, and, and so on. Um, uh, I'm not. I wasn't in favour of the rules with the no keep nets and that, but that's that's my own point of view. I, and I know a lot of people say, oh, it, it um, encourages match fishing, but I don't. Uh, I don't see that because I think if you pleasure fishing, you know, it's nice to keep the fish, you know, in your net and put them back um, afterwards. You know, um, you know, a couple of reasons. You know, I'd like to like to see what you caught. Secondly, it doesn't disturb the shoal that's feeding in front of you. You know, so. Uh, but that's my thoughts. Other people got other views of course you know um yeah so i should <laughs> i like that one go into the chat job so yeah uh, don't matter we're all friends together we <laughs> um and so uh anyway that was that and then we uh you know as far as young and trust concerned yeah you know they're doing a good job and, and billy's had uh, dealings with the old nfa and uh, of course um you know, he's got his own uh, opinion about it, you know. I mean, in the message I did send uh, to um, oh, Clark, uh, what's his name now, Clark, uh, uh, I did say, you know, it'd be nice for him to come on just to say what they're doing and how they're doing it. And also, maybe I shouldn't have mentioned it, but I also asked, you know, why have they got all these directors, 10 of them, I think, plus a second, 11, and there's like 1.2 million pound uh, being used of our funds you know that we all contribute towards and what what you know you know what do they do for it and why you know it don't make sense to me you know I, I did have a good conversation with a good friend of mine who's been in business for a long time and uh, he was saying well the problem is with these big uh, companies you know and trusts and so on you you've got to have directors because they have got um, pulling power you know they they can they can knock doors where the average joe public can't you know so this is why they employ these people you know they, they give them these huge sort of um pensions or salaries and uh you know simple reason is they can knock doors that, that the average angler the average layman just can't you know so that's the reason behind that so you know oh howard green's just come on i haven't seen howard for a long time it's a proper old taffy boy he had a shop we did and uh uh, how are you doing, Howard? <laughs> uh, yeah, job for the boys, as, as Mick said. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, look, Mick, it's like you, you and I, guys like you and I, you'll, you'll, you know, we've seen it and done it, and you know, seen it all before, haven't we? So you know, but um, yeah, don't get me wrong. I think Young and Trust doing a great job. You know, uh, it's just that you know they they should be. I believe they should be open to uh, scrutiny. You know, and shouldn't hide behind um, things. You know, and that's. Uh, yeah. Oh, Gary Etheridge is on. I hope you listened to what I told, what I said earlier, Gary. Because, <laughs> um, as I say, it was great for you to come on. Thanks for that, and I hope you come on again soon. You know, 
Um, oh, what's that? Darren's asked a question. What's your opinion on Woodland's View holding opens over the weekend? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, my views on it. Hmm. I don't know. A bit early, I think, personally. Uh, but if it's run properly, you know, one man weighing, you know, just, uh, you know, not no physical contact, you know, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've seen the vlog I made uh, just before the knockdown, but we uh, we actually had a match down in South Wales on Port Talbot, and uh, we tried to we tried to um, to fish it as if we were under lockdown. At the time, we weren't. But we, but we all, but a few of us had masks. Um, Ian Curry, the organizer, um, he actually um, collected the money. He sprayed it with a little bit of uh, disinfectant that we put in envelopes. And, uh, and after the match, he'd hand it to you in a, um, in a little cup, um, you know, uh, a ground bait cup on his pole, you know. And I thought that was uh, a bit fun at the time. But um, yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, as long as it's done, you know, rightly, there may be, uh, you know, Good luck to him, you know, because uh, as I say, you know, match fishing is our life, really, you know, for a lot of us. Uh, what's this, Russell? They need to start knocking doors. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, right, Gary was good the other day, Mick Gilbert. Yes, he was. Ga yeah, Gary, I mean, he, he probably uh, didn't realize how good he was, but uh, that's why, you know, when I run these um, vlogs for people during the daytime, they can, um, they can. When I rerun them in the evening, they can actually see um, how they done, you know, and any mistakes they made. And so next time they'll hopefully do a little bit better, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're a bit late, Frank. I'm just going out. <laughs> and Chris. <laughs> Chris late. But um, anyway, as I said, that was, um, well, I've been only 50 minutes now, so I think that'll, that'll, be, uh, that'll be enough. Uh, yeah, so any views on, um, on that? much appreciated you want to you know put uh, put it on a comments um then yeah you know i'm sure some guys got got a little bit of uh you know questions and answers on it i suppose you know um and as far as uh you know this lockdown is concerned as i say stay safe because obviously that's uh, that's what it's all about uh, i noticed on the news this morning they actually showed uh, a picture uh, of a couple of guys fishing and they did say you know fishing is one of the the most um uh one of the sports that that, that you know that you can do basically under lockdown because of the you know you, you're fishing quite of a distance apart from each other so yeah um i'm hoping that i know that the scottish government are now uh, just opening um they're locked down a little bit more and i'm hoping the welsh are going to do it shortly i mean it's a bit annoying when the fact that um you know, just across the border, all the guys are fishing. In fact, one of them said, why don't I drive out of Wales, do a bit of fishing and then come back? But uh, the problem is um, the police are quite hot at the moment and they're, they're stopping people on the roads and, and they charge them 120 quid. Fine, you know, and uh, a few people from the West Country have come over the bridge and been done. So, you know, um, it's a bit annoying, you know. Uh, but as I say, hopefully... Um, we we'll all we we'll all be get you know we we'll all be out of it soon and um, and as I said right at the very beginning um, it's all about your immunity so you know if you stay healthy lads um, you know maybe lose a bit of weight like me I've got to try and lose a bit of weight um, you know a bit more exercise they they are saying that uh, it's something to do with the, uh, your T cells you know and your white blood corpuscles and all that and uh, you know that's why some people get through it some people don't you know so okay. All right, then, anyway, so stay safe, and uh, as I say, please come back and um, any comments. And don't forget, any questions for Tommy and, uh, and a few of the others next week, then, um, you know, it gives them something to talk about, because uh, they are quite difficult doing these videos, you know, and unless you're actually demonstrating things, um, you can run out of steam, and if people don't ask you questions, then, you know, um, it's like when Steve Mayer done his... <laughs> Nobody was asking questions. So in the end, I had to ask him questions and, uh, you know, you can elaborate it. Uh, <laughs> that's true, Mike. The baby will keep me slim. Unfortunately, I'm not with them. They're in Thailand. So I'm hoping to get there at the end of the year. Uh, we'll see then. Okay, right then. Okay, lads, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in on this um, short one this afternoon. Um, as I said, we've had some good ones this week. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more next week some good ones next week and uh, um, we'll take it from there
Okay, see you next time.